Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim. And today I want to talk about uh, feeling the lore in Skyrim. And, you know, Skyrim, there's some places where you really just... They drop the ball on world building. I mean, the biggest point is the Civil War. You don't even have any idea what's going on. You know, it, it feels like a... Like a... Like, a, like you know when you go to like the Fighters Guild in Oblivion? It's its own thing that just exists and doesn't affect the world. The Civil War barely affects the universe of Skyrim. Like, it affects the universe, but it doesn't affect the world. I mean, you don't know what's going on if you, you know, you don't. So, you know, there's that. But when Skyrim makes you feel the lore and you feel the story, it really does. You know, for instance, um, just like with Kvatch, everyone talks about the dragons, you know, and the dragons are coming. And when the dragons come, like, it's beyond just the Oblivion Crisis. Because, you know, Kvatch, uh, the gate opened in the city and destroyed the city. You don't have Oblivion Gates opening in cities. You have them opening next to cities. And you don't find, like, random groups of Jamora that kill people, right? You're never going to have to worry about Jamora killing your favorite people because, well, they don't do that. Whereas, in Skyrim, it's very, very possible that you're in a town, and a dragon comes, and you don't kill it, and it kills someone that, you know, the armorer, or something like that. Like, take, take for instance, River Run. Is it River Run or Riverwood? I don't remember. I, I watched a lot of Game of Thrones. I believe it's Riverwood. Like, take Riverwood, right? The armor. If he's outside, and a dragon comes by, and, you know, it could, it could oof him, it could one-shot him. And he's dead, you know. You don't have to. You don't have no armor anymore. So, I think that's really cool. Really cool aspect about it. Um, when you actually play like the Dark Brotherhood, the Dark Brotherhood is really, really good. You know, when you go through the Dark Brotherhood, there's this thing that happens where you are, you know, killing people, and the people you find that people want killed have a lot of lines to where it's like, oh, you actually really do want to kill this person because they're actually, they actually did wrong someone, you know? Um, or the Thieves Guild, I mean, the Thieves Guild, the people you're with are just all stealing stuff, you know? But they're really, they give off these thief vibes. And of course, you know, there's weather and things that are typical to an RPG, but, and biomes, things like that, but, I mean, when Skyrim actually tr does, I wouldn't say necessarily try, because I think it tries a lot of the time, but when it actually does deliver on world building and lore and things like that, it really succeeds. The Diedrich Shrines are an excellent example of this. I mean, when you go to meet Shia Gorath, you really meet him. When you meet Azura, mm -hmm, you meet Azura. When you meet um, Clavicus Vile, yeah, I mean, you, freaking, you find a freaking talking dog, like, bruh, who finds that? Or Periite, yeah, take the drugs, do the thing, yeah, it really builds the world. When it doesn't, though, then it kind of sucks because it breaks the illusion, which it definitely does. I think a lot of the times walking around in towns and stuff, unless you're at, like, a bar or something like that, eh, meh, town, the lore in the, in the towns really doesn't do much, but... That's really all I got for this video, guys. It's a quick one, telling you about how, yeah, if, if Skyrim delivers, you really, really feel it. And, you know, I hope that those world-building skills carry on to Elder Scrolls VI to make it one of those games where it's memorable, and you remember it. So, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Um, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next one.